everybody, good morning. This is Alex again, reporting in duty here at EO The Marketplace News. Welcome to our channel. Okay, so for first time viewers, make it a habit on, on watching our videos here at EO's Marketplace News, okay? So guys, I hope that you have already eaten your breakfast and I hope that you are um, having really a great day because I am having a great day today. Okay, so guys, um, for today I will bring you, or for this video, I will bring you the most intriguing, the most talk about, and the most trending and popular news in crypto world. All right, I know you're really excited, so what are you waiting for? Let's go. Okay, so sorry. So guys, <clears throat> for today's news, Seven Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google staffers that went full crypto. Ooh. All right. Now, follow the talent. It's a Maxim investor, Chris Warnisk, tweeted recently to underscore another tweet from AngelList co-founder Naval Ravikant. When he wrote back in March, blockchains are now sucking in top tier Silicon Valley tech talent faster than any boom since the internet. Yet, as the first flurries of crypto winter blow, this narrative has hardly cooled. We heard it echoed again most recently in October when we spoke to Tinder executive and venture investor Jeff Morris Jr., who started Chapter 1 Ventures to back crypto projects he finds exciting. But who are these professionals leaving good companies to take a chance on the world of crypto? Coindesk found seven examples of people who left jobs, not just in uh, notable tech companies, but at the most notable ones. We found examples of staff from five uh, giants of Web.2.0, uh, the so-called FANGs. Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. All right. <clears throat> so guys, Facebook here. Kahina Van Dyke from Ripple. So Kahina Van Dyke is Ripple's senior vice president for business and corporate development. And most of her business experience has focused on payments at major companies. Not just Facebook. <clears throat> Not only did she spend two and a half years working on payment systems in Menlo Park, but she has prior experience at MasterCard and Citibank. Van Dyck made the transition in June. On the Ripple blog, she described her reasons for entering the distributed ledger industry. She said, there is a reason you have only a handful of major money transfer operators in the world today. Without question, cross-border transactions is one of the most complex and multifaceted uh, faceted problems in payments. So she said she believes Ripple has the combination of technology and business strategy to eliminate that friction faced by people around the world attempting to move money internationally. Next, oh, it's very hard to pronounce, guys. So correct me if I'm wrong, right? Is it Avgeni Koziyakov near protocol? With Koziyakov, we actually get a double dose of fangs. Prior to his current job, he worked at Facebook, and a little before that, he worked at Google. He's now one of the software engineers at Near Protocol, which aims to bring blockchain to low end devices by taking advantage of share, uh, sharding. Um, when he left Facebook, he had been working on video compressions for 360 degree videos and virtual reality. Spending time at two different major tech companies, he says, will help secure what Near hopes will be a wide reaching protocol. He told us, <clears throat> I work on backend infrastructure at Google, so I know how to build distributed systems. I understand security and privacy of large-scale projects to make sure users are in the best interest of the overall system. Right, Ethereum is still just too complicated and easy to mess up. EOS hasn't earned people's trust in that everything else is just too immature. 
Uh, my industry experience helps understand such issues and hopefully would help avoid them when we design our system, he said. Next, Amazon. Leo Chen, Harmony. <coughs> Excuse me. Chen just left Amazon Web Services, the Seattle Giants cloud service, to start at Harmony, an upcoming consensus platform designed for very high throughput. After almost four years at the company, Chen told Coindesk he might have made the move sooner, but he had deleted Facebook's apps from his phone. If not for that, he might not have missed an overture from Harmony founder Stephen Che, himself an Apple and Google. Oh, in 2012, Chen bought some Bitcoin and turned a good profit in them, but family got ahead of him and he lost track of crypto for a while. Then Ethereum picked his interest again and when he finally did it, sit down with Che, it felt right. I myself am also pretty interested in building the infrastructure and distributed systems. I felt blockchain is the technology I am interested in and I can contribute to, he told Coindesk. Basically, everyone using the internet is using AWS indirectly. We provide service to hundreds of thousands of customers on hundreds of thousands of machines. The architecture I learned and the experience I gained can help us build a high performance and secure blockchain, he wrote. Next, Apple. Mm. Alok Kuthari, Harmony. Harmony gets two spots on this list. With Kuthari as one of its engineers and co-founder, its team is actually rich in folks with Fang backgrounds, which is something that seems to be true in general. Teams with one Fang veteran have several more. Kuthari is a co-founder of Harmony. He left Apple in June after working there nearly three years. A machine learning specialist, he had been working on Apple's voice assistant, Siri. Whoa! But he'd long considered starting something on his own. Okay, it was a perfect storm of a lot of factors. I have been waiting to start my entrepreneurial journey for a while, he wrote Coindesk. He met the people who would become his co-founders at a meetup for ex-Googlers. Okay, I had become convinced that blockchain would transform the world, he added. To unleash all the usefulness of the data being created in the world, access to data should be democratized and decentralized. If that can be accomplished, he said, everyone would benefit and everyone would win. Okay guys, next Netflix. Ryan Lechner, Consensus Labs. Now at Consensus Labs, managing nearly 50 investments, the Brooklyn-based Ethereum shop has made, Lechner came over from Netflix where he did sort of the same thing in TV terms. He worked to expand Netflix's non-fiction content strategy. I always considered Netflix the innocent fan. We took people's money and created joy, he told Coindesk. Still, his doubts had been forming about the larger business model of Silicon Valley, building moats with carefully guarded data. There is nothing structurally sustainable about putting virtual walls around data, he said. He can remember the moment that it started to come clear that blockchains could build bridges over Silicon Valley's moats. I, uh, Moets, I was walking Lake Merritt in Auckland listening to a podcast in which Nick Shabo and Navala Ravikant talked about the transformative power of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, he wrote. He joined con um, Consensus near the end of 2017, relocating to Brooklyn. I hope that my role at Consensus can catalyze a radical shift to decentralized networks and business models, he wrote. So, Google. Alex Feinberg, Oki Coin, okay, Oki Coin. Feinberg, uh, Feinberg, or Feinberg serves as director of business development at the chain at the exchange, OK Coin, or Ocoin. Though he first left Google to join a sec uh, security startup aimed at blockchain startup called Petrum Security, so OK Coin is actually his second crypto role since Google. 
Um, Fainbridge started at Google in 2011, serving in a number of roles on the business side before leaving in March, working at the time on Google Search and Google Assistant. Wow, he worked with major brands, okay, such as the NBA, Bloomberg, and PR, to integrate their content with major search and assistant platforms. He joined Google because he had a thesis that as long as central banks kept printing money, it would have outsized benefits in the more speculative parts of the economy, such as tech. The move into the crypto space was just a logical extension of this original decision, he said. He settled on his decisions to move early this year. He was having dinner with a friend in January. His friend had made some major um, contrarian bets and been wildly successful, Feinberg wrote. I thought to myself, the people with whom I share a similar world view outside of Google are doing much better financially than the people with whom I do not at Google. So let's see where this takes me. <clears throat> okay, next, Chandan Loda, Coin Tracker. Loda is a co uh, co founder of Coin Tracker, an application that can calculate tax obligations and crypto portfolios. He left Google X Division in mid 2017, where he had been working as a product manager on Project Loon, which aims to connect remote areas to the internet with balloons. Oh, that's why it's called Project Lumens. All right, so to be honest, I was initially pretty skeptical of cryptocurrency. He told us this despite the fact that he did some work on a Bitcoin startup in 2012 and held cryptocurrency for years. As those holdings became more meaningful, they felt less like a hobby. He had already been working on putting together an idea with a fellow Googler who became his co-founder. Though they started looking at traditional fintech, his own experience in crypto pointed their business in that direction. He acknowledges that their app isn't the first to take on tax obligations, but he believes the space still has a ways to go in terms of user experience, he said. One lesson we have brought from Google that has been really helpful in bu building Coin Tracker is focusing on users to build very simple and intuitive products. It's hard to see whether or not trends like the one shown above will accelerate because staff could increasingly make similar transitions within companies. For example, Instagram's head of product recently moved over to a similar role on Facebook's blockchain efforts, according to LinkedIn. Similarly, um, former Coinbase board member and head of Facebook's messaging products, David, David Marcus, is also all blockchain all the time in Menlo Park as well. You're talking your all-stars and moving them to the blockchain initiatives in your company. Morris observed to Coindesk in an interview, a lot of that has to be employee driven right so guys um as you can see this is a really interesting news right the people from the most prestigious companies um they brought their experience to build or to join to blockchain or cryptocurrency congratulations to the uh, good luck to your um good luck to your journey guys I want to say good luck to your journey on the crypto world. All right. So guys, I know that you want more of this news and you want to be updated. So please visit preferredcurrency.news, okay? And subscribe now so that you'll be the first one to get notified of the new updates. How? You can use your preferred method. You can use PayPal for a monthly recurring for only $15 per month fee, or you can use the Coinbase option for only $180 that's annual subscription that's to be paid with crypto. All right. So by the way, guys, you can contact us directly through the website. Your name and email is required. And of course, your message, if ever you want to ask or clarify something, okay, just hit send. Next, if you want to talk 
directly to the person behind PreferredCurrency.News, and I believe that's the good, um, that's a good choice. <laughs> his name is Donald Lewis or Donald the Guru. You can call his number at 1801-601-8105, WhatsApp at 1801-471-6939. His Skype ID is Donald.CapitalF.CapitalC.D and capital A. You can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. Telegram channel PreferredCrypto.News. Yes, we are growing, guys. We are growing on Telegram in our Telegram channel. So join out, join out, join us, okay? So that we will be saying hi, and you will get more information. Okay. Now you can also send a private message to Donald Lewis on Telegram at Preferred Crypto. That's his ID at Preferred Crypto. All right. So guys, if you will become one of our subscribers, you can also become one of our affiliates okay just click this one and then it will take you to the page where it says how to become one all right okay so excuse me now let me show you a glimpse of what will you be getting when you subscribe to our channel i mean to yes to our channel and as well as to preferred currency dot news so when you subscribe you will be getting a newsletter Okay, newsletter from preferredcurrency.news every day. And that's via email 12 hours before we post videos here in YouTube. So, guys, uh, the parts of the newsletter, of course, the articles of the day, okay? <clears throat> um, if you want to read the previous news, you can. As you can see here, there are list of months and dates so you can just click what month and then you can read all the news on that month all right so guys i want to introduce to you the donald's research list this is the best part of the newsletter okay so just click open spreadsheet okay and it will take you to this uh, spreadsheet okay so guys this is the answer or this is the solution of our problems and the answer to our questions all right because i know me myself okay personally i know that it is really important to keep track what's the status of our favorite tokens or coins right so that's why we spend a lot of time or we spend time on researching like we open a lot of websites to read articles right we open a lot of websites and remember a lot of websites in order for us to know what are the status of our favorite tokens and coins and others right so donald's research list made it easier for you made it more convenient for you why let me show you for example guys by the way the first column it shows the names of the tokens or coins and it is a complete list this spreadsheet is a complete list of your tokens and coins and their statuses for today now you might think well, what are the colors represents okay represents so guys red have negative news orange or tan are neutral yellow or fair green have good news and blue are showing the best news okay so when you subscribe to preferred currency news you can have a copy of the Donald's research list every day now if you want to compare the previous um, statuses of the coins then you can because you can have a copy of this easily right okay now um, here for example for today's Bitcoin status Bitcoin is colored blue, so it's showing the best news. Bitcoin's recent price as of November 19, 2018, it's 5598.21064660. Share of total market volume, it's 0 0.31082909. Google searches compare, compared to the past seven days, it's 29%. Ooh, it's already crossing up 50 guys number of positive technical indicators one 24 hours volume versus price zero seven days volume versus price 
0.76 and 30 days volume versus price it's 1.78 percent and percent is should it's 82.77 percent wow all right next for example if you want to search on a specific token or coin there's a simpler way or easier way no need to scroll and scroll and scroll and check it out okay you just need to i know i i don't know if everyone you know uses a spreadsheet so maybe you you might not be familiar but guys there's an easier way to find a data just click control yes control f and then for example i want to know the status of eos so just type eos and there okay so for eos today it's reason price it's 4.57 452770 share of total market volume is 0 0.0552034 Ooh, 100% for Google searches for the past seven days compared to the past seven days um, it's also crossing down 50 for SMA movement number of positive technical indicators that's one um, I don't know yeah no four four rather 24 hours volume versus price zero seven days volume versus price 1.09 30 days volume versus price it's 5.54 and percent issued it's 90.06 percent all right okay and if you like to research more and more just do the same okay erase eos for example dab here so dab zero dabs recent price is 0 0.00554276 total of market volume is 0 0.00000297 it's zero percent for google searches it's also crossing down 50 like eos number of positive technical indicators too for 24 hours seven days and 30 days volume versus price it's zero and percent issued is 32.94 right that easy that convenient and that quick right so no worries because if you subscribe we will be the one who will notify you you don't need to ask us um can you send now the Donald's research list what's the update right no need because we will be sending you we will be notifying you via email okay and you can have the Donald's research list because guys even if if you research Donald's research list on the internet 24 7 you cannot because Donald's research list can only be found here at preferredcurrency.news all right so um but by the way for your information this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell we always recommend to our viewers and subscribers that they research or you research your own and then you can decide for yourself all right okay so guys what are you waiting for visit preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now all right so that has been um, the recent and the most trending news for today um, if you have comments opinions or anything that you want to share to us please feel free to put that in the comment section below please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe okay this has been alex thank you so much have a good day and bye